Hello guys, welcome back to The Tried Truth. In this episode, I'm gonna review Gucci Intensude from 2016. It is an oriental fragrance. Uh, it was love at first sniff for me. I've had it for a few months now. Um, been waiting for colder weather. It's fall now. The main accords of Gucci Intensude are obviously oud, amber, leather, fresh spicy, animalic, warm spicy, and smoky. Let's go right to the notes. It opens in the top with frankincense, raspberry, saffron, and pear. And in the mid, you get damask rose, musk, and orange blossom. And in the base, you get a hefty dose of agarwood, which is the oud, and leather, and ambergris, and patchouli. In the base, they certainly identify what you're gonna smell right away. Um, but all of the other notes, especially in the top and mid, are, are just complementary notes that support that base, because that base it's kind of an upside down fragrance. This one really hits you with the base at the beginning. Now it does go through some changes. Uh, the fragrance really develops, but uh, let's let's take a look at this beautiful bottle and the presentation. I've kind of jumped the gun on the whole thing uh, all over the place with this fragrance. I do like it, guys. I'm telling you, uh, love it first sniff for me. Um, but uh, the presentation is nothing short of what you should expect from Gucci. This is uh, top tier. This is definitely top shelf stuff here. The, uh, for anyone who collects fragrances or if you only have a few uh, and you're looking for something dark, mysterious, pushes the envelope. If you want to try something that would be a gothic villain type of fragrance, I'm talking about something that you want to stand out. You want something different. And if you want something that has that dark, mysterious vibe to it, this is what you're looking for right here. It was rumored to be discontinued, and maybe it is. However, it's all over the internet. You can buy it just about any discounter has it. I picked this one up from Gift Express about a year ago, and I believe I got it for like 95 or $99. So um, depending on where you get it, it's usually right around $100. Um, it's a three ounce bottle, very heavy. You can pick it up with the cap, but I don't recommend it. Beautiful bottle. Um, looks great on the shelf. I love the top. It's got a little weight to it. It's uh, it feels like some sort of metal, but uh, let's let's get a, a smell of this stuff. Um, nice um, pump atomizer, not a pressurized, but still good. I can't imagine someone not liking this fragrance, but that's me. As far as raspberry, uh, saffron. Those are supporting characters here for this heavy, woody base. Frankincense is quite noticeable in the opening. And um, as the fragrance does go from, you know, top to mid to dry down, you're going to start to see some of the other notes develop. This is a designer oud, but it's very fine quality. Who would wear this? I, I would say, you know, 25 and up would, would really enjoy it. I'm not saying a, you know, a mature, younger person couldn't wear it, but... I think it would appeal more to an elegant, uh, formal setting. Um, I mean, I believe it, it could be office safe, and I do believe it can be casually worn as well. Uh, a shirt like this is fitting, you know, um, something along those lines. Cooler weather, winter, uh, fall, cooler evenings, even in the summer, but I'd go light on the spray. Three to five sprays max with this one. That subtle strength. Is, is where this one really shines. That woody base, it's very masculine. If there was a Batman fragrance, this would be it. Um, kind of like that Christian Bale, Dark Knight type of guy. Um, very mysterious, low key, uh, person that just does their own thing, behind the scenes type of person. What makes it so unique is it's just different. It's a very woody scent from start to finish. Now the changes that you'll see is you'll start seeing the rose, the saffron and the raspberry kind of pop in. Longevity is astronomical with this fragrance. It's 10 straight hours of rock star projection. You're gonna get that. Performance is great. Now, it's not a room filling beast either though. It has a, a soft, strong, powdery type of smoothness to it. Resinous woodiness to it. Um, almost like a real fresh cut, dark, dark wood. People would smell this on you and be very curious to what you're wearing. I'm, I'm thinking more than anything, a, a, the type of compliment you're going to get is 
that smells really good and what is that you're wearing because it's very unique it's different it's um it's something that's really going to stand out as far as being different not everybody's going to be wearing this type of fragrance if i haven't showed you already it's very similar to Nasamato's black afghano this is much more expensive and very small bottle compared to this you can see you're not going to get as much either so this one's around 100 this one's around 200 and it's only one ounce not much sweetness here guys this is a very woody fragrance obviously it's it's an oud fragrance um, very resinous um with the orange blossom saffron raspberry and pear you know it just it has these nuances and aspects of it that just kind of creep up on you and um, it's very polite fragrance as far as to the wearer, not, not just, you know, to people that are going to smell it on you. So as, as the wearer, what I meant by it being polite is you just catch these uh, friendly nuances of other notes pop in and pop out. Very refined fragrance. Uh, there's nothing harsh here from start to finish, even from the initial uh, application or spray. As soon as it hits your skin nothing um alcohol no no uh harshness just smooth right from the very beginning and as it develops it just gets better and better and better it's got a very mature macho bad boy type of vibe i'm really enjoying it right now just reviewing it and s smelling it again just um you know there's some pros and cons here we'll go over i'll post those on the screen and we can read them together real quick here Dark, mysterious, and intriguing, yes. And perfect balance between spicy, oud, and designer, absolutely. Um, great for special occasions, sure. And well-crafted scent, definitely. Bottled, worthy design, uh, yep. And uh, masculine fragrance, yes. Longevity and sillage are good, yes. Intriguing cumin note, that was, everyone voted no for that one. So the cons. Not suitable for all tastes. I would agree for that, but um, I would agree with that, but uh, I do believe most people will like it if this is what you're looking for. So uh, poor performance, nope, not an issue here. Uh, expensive price, not at all, not at all for what you're getting. So it says here, not, re not versatile, requires specific occasions to wear. And that kind of got mixed reviews. 39 said yes, 49 said no to that. Um, to each his own. That's all I can say. I would wear it if I felt like wearing it, period. So projection, reformulation, not an issue. This, I, I'm telling you, this fragrance will do what it's supposed to do. The notes will not be denied. This is very good stuff. Disappointing reformulation, nope. I disagree. Lack of a leather scent, no. This, this got a very, it's, it's got a very dark new buck leather type of vibe to it so and sometimes some find it too sweet or floral and absolutely not there's it's not a floral scent and it's not a sweet scent it's a dry woody leather patchouli saffron um scent now like i said with orange blossoms uh orange blossoms saffron and raspberry those are something that you'll start to pick up in the mid and they're very delightful. And obviously, there's pear in there too. But as far as pear goes, guys, uh, I wish I could tell you that uh, you're going to pick that up right away. Um, it's just something that is a supporting note. You know, you really have to think about it. And when you're smelling it, yes, you can pick up the pear. It does have a brininess to it. That, that grainy, briny pear note is in there you can definitely pick it up it's a faint supporting characteristic of the, of the scent so one more thing we'll go over here um are these you have the the scale of longevity and uh sillage and strong to eternal and strong to enormous win those votes and then whether or not it's gender neutral uh you know most people say it's more male. It does have some similarities to some other fragrances, but the number one similarity is Nasamato's Black Afghano. If you haven't tried this, uh, if you're into cannabis, this is one you're definitely going to want to try. If you like, if you like that sort of thing, this is something you might want to get into. But uh, 
Guys, let me tell you something. 10 out of 10 Rockstar fragrance right here. Very dark, mysterious. Uh, Rockstar vibes. Gothic vibes. Villain vibes. Black tie. Um, formal setting. This would make a nice scent for church, especially in the colder months. Uh, very, very warm and inviting. Very elegant scent. Um, yeah, this definitely renders the wearer uh, appealing. Uh Confidence, people are going to want to be around you. It's not going to choke anyone out. Like I said, keep it three to five sprays and you're not going to have any problems with this. Excellent performance. It's going to last. Crowd pleaser. It's worn in the right setting. It's a crowd pleaser. So, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping in and checking out the review of Gucci and Tensude. I highly recommend you picking this one up. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I feel it leans more masculine. Um, my recommendation is for guys to pick this one up if you're into this sort of thing. Not that women can't wear it, whatever, you know, take it, take it however you want. I'm just telling you, I think this is a, a bad boy guy's scent. Um, I wouldn't call it a lady killer scent, a conversation starter. I do believe people are going to want to know what you're wearing in the air is when people will pick up on, you know, the fruitier side to it. It does have some pear in there and some raspberry. They're um, just supporting notes, but uh, it does have a hint of sweetness to it that really characterizes the resinous side to it. Uh, it kind of pulls the dark, heavy woodiness and then that resinous frankincense and just kind of meshes them together. Let's not forget about the damask rose. This is not one that has an annoying rose note, overpowering feminine rose note. This is done really well. So overall, it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. One of the best Gucci's ever put out. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys can get a get a sample of this or just blind buy it like I did. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Thanks for stopping by the Tried Truth today and checking out the review. I appreciate all of you and hope to see you next time.